Hi guys and welcome back to my course. In this video, we will learn about a new array function called reduce. Just like map, reduce also iterates through the entire array and it accepts a callback function to perform some actions on the array items. The difference here is that reduce passes the result of this callback from one array element to the next one. This result of callback is called accumulator. The accumulator can be pretty much anything. It could be an integer, a string, object, or even an array. This accumulator must be instantiated and passed when calling reduce. So this is the syntax for reduce. So array dot reduce the method. And this method, it accepts two arguments. First is the callback function. And second is the default value or the initial value of the accumulator. And even in this callback function, reduce passes the accumulator as the first argument and the item as the second argument. Let's try an example to understand it better. Let's say we want the sum of this array. So we've got an array with numbers from one to five and we want sum of this array. All right, so let's give it a try. So array dot reduce and this accepts two arguments. First is the function the callback function and second is the default value of accumulator. So in this case, we are expecting a number. So because sum would be a number, so we can give a default value of zero. Now this accumulator is passed down to our callback function. So let's just say ACC, which represents accumulator. You can name it anything you want. And second is the current item, which is being iterated. So let's try printing this item. So as you can see in the console, we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Similarly, let's try printing this accumulator. So as you can see, for the first iteration, we got zero. And from the second iteration onward, we get undefined in this accumulator. So if you remember, I mentioned this accumulator is passed from one iteration to the next one. So here we aren't passing anything. We aren't returning any value. So that's why accumulator is received as undefined after the first iteration. So if you return this value here, so we get zero in all the iterations. Let's say we want to increase this accumulator by one with each iteration. So we can simply do plus one. And as you can see, For the first iteration is zero, for the second one it's one, and it keeps increasing. So what's happening here is, we are taking the current accumulator value, adding one to that value and passing it to the next iteration. So this is all about the concept of reduce and accumulator. Now let's try calculating the sum. So instead of doing plus one, we can simply do item. So whenever the first item is iterated, it will add it to the accumulator, which is zero for the first iteration. In the second iteration, it will hold the first element. In the third iteration, it will hold the sum of first and second element and so on. So if I try printing it here, let's just store it in a variable. Say constant result. So as you can see, we get 15 as the result. Similarly, if we try to print this accumulator with every iteration, so as you can see, it's zero, then one, then three, then six, and then 10. Similarly, say we wanted to calculate the total experience from this array of pilots. So instead of num array, let's try using the first array, which is m array. So when I print this, it gives us these objects with every iteration. And to access experience, we can simply do item dot experience. So as you can see, we get 10, 5, and 20. And to get accumulated result, we can simply do item dot experience and add it to the accumulator and return it. So as you can see, at the end, we get 35. And that's a wrap for today. 
I hope this gave you a better understanding of Reduce, but if you have any doubts or queries, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me on Twitter. I'll add my Twitter handle in the description below. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.